I think after yesterday's practice, Jordan Davis mentioned he had some doubts about himself during his rookie season. He feels more confident coming into this season. Off the field, what have you seen from him? Uh, just just his hard work and dedication to you know playing at a, the weight that he needs to play at and how much it means to him to do that and he knows that we're, we're counting on his teammates are counting on him again best motivation there is is when not wanting to let your teammates down and that's the connection that you have with people and so yeah you know he, he definitely looks comfortable more comfortable um, heading into your second year and that's natural um, but I've just seen the hard work that he's put in to make sure that he's doing the things that he can control to, to play good. What was your review of yesterday's practice after watching the tape? Uh, you know, I thought I thought there was some good back and forth. Obviously, with our offense, they they did a good job. Credit to to uh, the Browns, they did a really good job uh, yesterday. It wasn't up to our offensive standard, but you know, the, some of it is that that they did some good things too. Um, and so that that was my take on offense. You know, we're working through all the corrections defensively. I think there was some good back and forth. Um, you know that we'll uh, continue to work on and, and looking at some stuff today, and uh, and, and hopefully get some good uh, good work today. When, when you have a, a group of your second group of receivers like Nagata and Cleveland, uh, yeah, came before he got hurt. They look like Johnny King did coming in. How much does it help to hold that whole group to have and, and the quarterback to have talent like that in the second? Group? Yeah, very much so. Shoot, you know, sometimes you, you go to a, a second or third group of receivers and you don't feel like you can make a play. That's definitely not the case. I've been definitely been on preseason teams where you feel that way. Uh, don't feel that way here. And uh, really excited about these group of guys. Aaron Moorhead's doing a great job working with them. Devontae and AJ are, are doing a great job mentoring them. Uh, so it takes everybody. And, uh, you know, that's a, great, that's a good room. Guys care about each other and they're and looking to help each other out. Nick, when you don't play your starters in a preseason game, do you have specific rules for those guys uh, on game day? What do you mean? Like rules of like how you want them to go through warmups or be on the side. That last or... game, yeah, we wanted to go through. We wanted to go through warmups. I mean, yeah, we. So that's the main thing, you know, and just all obviously be there. To the main thing is just, it's, I wouldn't say rules. It's just like, hey, be a good teammate here, you know, and 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 support your teammates. Um, that's really the main thing. Support your teammates, and I think when you get, when you have a bunch of rules, you, you can get bogged down. But a lot of things just come down to you know golden rule a lot of times, and then just you know be on time. All, all those you know all those different things. Um, treat everybody in the building with respect, which is golden rule. So it's I don't have a ton of rules. Um, wear Eagles gear at practice. Uh, that's about like that's about it. So, but just be a good teammate to the guys that are that are out there. You said it wasn't up to your standard offensively yesterday. What part of it was uncharacteristic? I, you know, just I just don't think we ever got into a groove. Um, you know, we didn't, we weren't, we didn't make plays. I mean, so it was, it's a, that's the whole thing as a, as a whole. Um, again, we we corrected it this morning, and we're we're looking to get better from it today. And we saw Sidney Brown take some reps with the first team. What's the significance behind that? You know, obviously they're battling there at safety. Uh, we got a, we got a, but Howie did a great job. Howie and his staff did a great job of getting a lot of uh, pieces in there that that we, you know, we lost a couple really good players. Um, you know, obviously wish them the best, um, but lost a couple really good players and replaced them with some really good players. And so that's just a competition. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to how that continues to play out at that at that position at safety. Um, you know, and we got some good position battles going on. I think everybody would note linebackers a good position battle going on. I think everyone would note running backs a good position battle going on. And so. Uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, we're just working different guys in there, different communication with, with different guys. Um, you know, and sometimes you, they look, you know, guys would look different in ones that they will with two. So just want to give everybody an opportunity of the guys that are, that are deserving and to, to work up there. What's Sydney showing you? I'm sorry? What's Sydney showing you? Yeah, I think you can see his athleticism is very, is very, you can see it, right? You see it and, uh, you know, he has the ability to get to the ball, he has the ability to make plays, um, and that's what we saw in college, and that's what we're seeing early on in camp. Coach, speaking of running backs, how are you having to assess your running back in the first preseason game about treating Yeah, I, again, I, I really like the way they're competing, you know, and, and no one's, everyone's stepping up to the plate to compete. Everyone's stepping up the plate uh, of the challenge of, hey, I got to work for my, work for my carries, and, 
And but while also everybody's still trying to help each other out and and get them used to you know the new guys used to how the how the standard of practice and also you know helping them out with the with the playbook. So I just see it. I just I just feel like again we have guys that can make plays in that room, um, and they and they care about each other and they're trying to help each other out. Yeah, I think they all look good. I'm really excited about all, all those guys in there. How much should um, whether or not if you're up to your standard today or the performance of today factored into whether or not starters play? Everything goes into everything goes into the decision. We'll uh, we'll we'll rediscuss after this of what it looks like. I'm, I don't I don't like to. There's things. There's some things that you have to plan way far in advance. That's our job as coaches. And there's some bridges that you don't cross until they until you get to them. And I think that's just one of them. Um, haven't really thought of it in that in that sense. But you know, after today's practice, we'll we'll figure out what the what the plan is. Nick, how valuable is it for guys like Jalen Carter, Nolan Smith, Sidney Brown? You mentioned earlier. Because they're getting a lot of work, you know, against the Browns' first team and everything. Like, how valuable is that for those guys? Very, very much, uh, you know, very much so. You know, I, I, I uh, obviously think that the the practices we get against the, each other, right, or not, not even in uh, inner squad, you know, but or pardon me, not even in joint practices, but Eagles versus Eagles, they're getting a lot of good work. So that, you know, anytime you're going against that that one old line, whether it's the Browns, whether it's the Eagles, you know, it's it's good to get that get that work and. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, like I th- like what I think about joint practices. It's like a game day. It's game day routine, and that's and so obviously that's the way we're going about it, and that's how we try to go about practice as well. Um, that you know, you got to practice like you're you're gonna play, and uh, and so again, both or every time they get these opportunities, it's really good. It's our yeah. first time talking to you since the game. What stood out about Tanner McKee's performance that you couldn't see on the sideline? I talked to you after the game. You're saying like, the, like yeah, I usually get that Monday meeting get, uh, after. Monday where they, we talk about the game, then move on. Yeah, I just thought uh, composed, uh, knew where he wanted to go with the football, made some really nice throws. Um, very, pretty, very similar to my initial reaction. I sometimes I, you know, of what I thought, and but you don't know completely until you put the tape on and and you evaluate it, and uh, and so we, you know, we were really excited with how I think, you know, the very first play he showed so much poise of. of of going out there, make it, seeing what the defense was giving them, taking it, and then making a really good throw. You can do all the things with your mind and then not make the throw. You can do all the things with the throw and not do the right things with your mind. And it was just good to see how he was unfazed by the, I won't, I won't say magnitude, yeah, the magnitude of the game for him, right, the, for his first NFL action. Nick, considering uh, the off-field question, considering I see you mentioned the magnitude of Jordan Brand and his presence, Oh, I think that's I think that's really cool. Hopefully, I can get some free shoes out of it. <laughs> but I, I, I'm happy for him. Uh, anytime I see those guys, I, I, I can be sitting at home and watching a television with my kids and and see a commercial with with them on it. We'll rewind it a couple times, watch the video a couple times. So excited for him because you, but you don't get that without performing. And so he's performed he's, to earn that and uh, and just will and just looking forward to hit, to continually watching him perform. Yeah, you mentioned watching the tape. What was it like to watch the play Jim Carter made in his first play? What do you see sort of as uh, possibility for him this season? Uh, obviously, you know, we feel like he's had a good camp, um, you know, and, and we've seen that and we've seen him do that in, in camp as well. And so just excited for him to, you know, put his head down and work. Uh, you know, he knows what it he knows of what it takes to be on a team that has a high standard. He's been on that for the past three years at, at Georgia. And when you when you have a team that, that, that holds their, you know, that the captains and the coaches hold the team to that high standard that. You, you you make the play, but you move on and, and you keep continue to work. And that's where we are right now. And uh, looking forward to get better today in this joint practice. When you put the, the joint practices together with another coach and you're sort of talking about what works for you guys, does it ever happen where like they mention an idea that hadn't occurred to you and you, you pick up an idea that you use? Of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, especially like, you know, I, I get along great with, uh, with Kevin. Um, and yeah, you... you uh, you never, you never take an opportunity. Not, to, you always take the opportunity to get better. From that doesn't matter if it's from high school coach, a pee wee coach, a opposing coach, and now, and the difference is you can. It's the same. You know, you get to pick their mind, right? You get to talk about them and talk through some some things. So, you know, when you share your notes of what you're going to say to the team, you know, 
I, he, he shared me his notes. I shared him my notes. And you can see after the last two years, our notes look similar. So hopefully he's taking some stuff from, from our, our conversations with our team. And I know I'm talk, taking some stuff from him. And then, you know, just being able to discuss some plays. We don't play them this year and discuss some thoughts. Uh, you know, it's always good. It's like free, cl free um, um, coaches clinic. You know, we'll, I'll go to those all day. Go more? Yeah, the, uh, in, in losing Sean Bradley at linebacker, you replaced it with a defensive tackle. How do you feel about the depth at linebacker right now? You know, those guys need reps. Uh, those guys need reps right now, and, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You know, it, what happened with the, the defensive line, we felt like, you know, some guys that played a lot of plays that at, at the end of the game that um, that weren't quite, you know, aren't quite there. It's a buildup. It's a progression. So we wanted, we, we felt like we needed another body there um, and looking forward to working with him. Anything just in the game stand out that you didn't notice on live? Uh, shoot. I, yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know because, I mean, this, we're, we're a couple days off from there. I don't remember what I said to you Sunday or part of me Saturday. What I thought about on the bus, and then I, yeah, I can't. Not that I, not that that, not that comes to my mind right now. From the personality standpoint, what stands out about him? Nolan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's he loves football. I think that's the best way to say it. Like if you're, and I think you can you can say like he gets up here with you guys, and I and I think uh, you know he's very energetic and but and and very personable. Um, right, you guys could tell me more of what you guys think uh, when he comes up here. But what I think is those those attributes shine because he's so happy to be here because he loves the game of football. He loves the physicality of football. He loves the the grind of football, and that's what no, that's what I've noticed in the time I've gotten to know him so far.